of clean energy and greener cities in focus as UN-led climate talks are underway in Brazil. In France, technology to develop charge-as-you-drive roads are currently being put under trial. This allows electric vehicles to fill up their batteries without having to stop. Advocates say the system could speed up Europe's move to a carbon-neutral transport sector. But first, some major roadblocks need to be cleared. Ross Cullen filed this report for CNA from a highway near Paris. Imagine driving down the road and your electric car charges itself. No need to pull over, hook up the vehicle and wait while the battery fills up. Instead, inductive coils beneath the asphalt transfer electrical currents wirelessly and the vehicle receives the charge here. This tech could revolutionise EV charging and it's happening on the A10 highway in France. Pierre Delegue is the director of electric mobility projects at Vinci Auto Routes, the French construction company driving this project. We need to facilitate electromobility, and this project called Charge As You Drive is one way to do it. We can charge here at several hundreds of kilowatts while uh, traveling on the highway, and this is beyond the initial expectations we had in this project. Specially equipped prototype trucks are being used for the trial, which seeks to demonstrate its feasibility for heavy goods vehicles. The transport sector accounts for a third of France's greenhouse gas emissions. If this scheme is successful and deployed on a large scale, the technology could lead to lighter and smaller EV batteries and thus a reduced carbon footprint. But there are challenges the developers must face. I think the main limits comes from the political decision. We need the state, in this, friend, in this case France, to decide to deploy these infrastructures at a larger scale. From 2035, all new cars that come on the European Union market cannot emit any CO2. This is to ensure that by 2050, the EU's transport sector can become carbon neutral. This development is impressive, but France is not the first European country to have experimented with projects to power electric vehicles wirelessly. Sweden has already trialled this technology. Five years ago, the Smart Road Gotland project was the world's first public wireless inductive electric road. Its success prompted plans to open a permanent electrified road on a 20-kilometre stretch of highway near Stockholm. But the project was scrapped in February due to increased costs. You need to ensure that there is a business model uh, which, uh, and uh, that uh, this technology will be profitable and that people will invest. And frankly, I don't think that uh, the, the business model is, uh, is there for this type of technology. Under Vinci's system, every kilometre of electric charging road costs at least $4 million to build. France has roughly 11,000 kilometres of motorway, meaning it would cost $44 billion to electrify the main highways alone. Europe is pushing to phase out fossil fuelled cars by 2035. But for schemes like this to help meet that goal, they will have to overcome economic and political pressures. For CNA, I'm Ross Cullen in Angervilliers, northern France.